Hey guys, it's 7 a.m. in the morning. So we are outside Minerals house for episode 3 of Technology on the Move. So we'll be cycling today and exploring the areas which are not so crowded in Bangalore. So Mrinal, um, engineer to VP of engineering for largest retailer of the world. Tell us about that journey. Well, uh, it's been a fascinating journey. I think some things have stayed constant in life, mm -hmm. which is to be able to go and solve hard problems uh, for our customers, mm -hmm. um, leveraging technology as a tool. Mm -hmm. uh, but started my career as a software engineer, probably at that point of time, probably India's largest uh, truck maker, uh, Tata Motors. Um, then got an opportunity to move to US where I worked with a number of large organizations like Oracle and a bunch of startups. Uh, some of them were successful, some of them we failed. Um, but I would not trade it for anything else. Okay. The experience, I think every success and every failure mm -hmm. gave me an opportunity to learn something. Something to do better, mm -hmm. some things to do differently. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the biggest thing in life, what I feel, mm -hmm. is you know every failure gives you an opportunity to figure out what you could have done better. So you have been in the space of uh, e-commerce and retail for almost a decade now. Yes. What is that one thing that has remained constant, and uh, how do you think future will look like? I think some of the fundamentals of retail, I don't think is changing. Even in the last decade or even earlier, uh -huh. customers always want a wide selection. Mm -hmm. Customers always want good prices mm -hmm. and customers want convenience. Right. So these things are fundamentals of retail, which has never changed. One of the things we know, our customers lifestyle is changing. Technology is making a lot of things very, very convenient for people. Okay. So the medium how our customers will want to interact with us will change very drastically. Right. With the proliferation of smart homes, smart devices, mm -hmm. IOTs, I see the future of our customers' lifestyle uh -huh. being a very connected lifestyle. So let's do some rapid fires. Okay. Right. So, uh, are you a morning, morning person or a night owl? I'm more of a night owl. So, what is that first thing you do uh, when you wake up? Once I wake up, the very first thing I see is like, how's the business been from the last night? Mm -hmm. uh, has there been any issues that our customers have faced? So, what's your favorite personal possession? So, I love uh, rock concerts. Okay. So, I have a price possession of rock concert tickets. So, what's on your computer desk? I have a picture of my dog. So, how do you run your meetings? Two things I focus on. Mm -hmm. uh, one is harvesting diverse point of views. Mm -hmm. It is very important for us to collect different point of views for the same problem statement for our customers that we are trying to solve. Mm -hmm. But I also believe that you know timeliness of decision making is also a very critical element because right. while we can deliberate forever, mm -hmm. our customers need us to innovate for them. Single trait which is very important for an entrepreneur. I would sort of call it uh, ownership mm -hmm. or extreme ownership. Biggest influence in your life? My grandfather was a great influence in my life. He was an ex-Air Force officer. Oh, okay. um, learned a lot from him in terms of values of life. Mm -hmm. uh, but one of the leaders uh, who has been a real inspiration to me is Steve Jobs. So favorite movie? Uh, Schindler's List. Uh, any favorite actor? Dustin Hoffman. So favorite holiday destination? I wouldn't say it's a destination, it's a journey for me. Mm -hmm. And um, I enjoy road trips more than anything else. Tell us what's cooking in uh, Merchant Technology Engineering at Bangalore, uh, Walmart. In the last year, 18 months, we are growing very significantly in Merchant Tech. There's a disproportionate amount of investment. The team has significantly grown. I think if I look at the last 18 months, we, are, we have gone from maybe about 100, 120 people to almost 340 people in the team now. Mm -hmm. uh, big investment in terms of search, where we are really trying to understand the query intent of our customer in terms of pricing, 
uh, we are doing a lot of data science and machine learning where we can look at uh, patterns of you know what's going on with pricing, uh, competitive landscape, and make dynamic price adjustments and things like that. Right. Disproportionate amount of data science in terms of our assortment algorithms. A lot of work is going on on the marketplace side where we are bringing third-party sellers to come on to walmart.com mm -hmm. and help our customers bridge some of the assortment gaps that we don't have, then that we don't carry in one piece. Oh, okay. um, so big uh, technology initiatives, lot of work that's going on in moving to private cloud. Mm -hmm. And as the teams are growing, uh, ramping them up. I think the biggest challenge in the merchant, merchant technologies which we are trying to overcome is really understanding how our associates in Bangalore can empathize with our customers in US. Um, a lot of our associates have not visited a Walmart store. How do they sort of empathize with our customers who come into our store? Uh, but we are overcoming that with a lot of metrics and data. Um, so I think this is, this is going to continue to sort of grow. Uh, we, we look to Merchant Tech um, as a center of excellence in a number of areas. Uh, retail graph where we are building relationship, deeper relationship between products is getting done out of Bangalore. Uh, competitive intelligence platform is all out of out of Bangalore. Bunch of things in terms of fraud, disputes, uh, some of the search like for online grocery and th uh, things are getting done out of Bangalore. So uh, it, is, it is slowly evolving to become a center of excellence for some of these uh, some of these core uh, merchandising platforms. Nice. Uh, and finally, what do you like about Walmart? I love the scale, and I think with scale comes. And very important aspect that you know we shouldn't uh, overlook the our customers. Thank you very much. Uh, the indi individual customer needs. We want to be the store of the neighborhood where our customers trust us, and we earn that trust by anticipating what our customers need. The price point which is comfortable for our customers, right? You know, there's a lot of things going on in the retail that is definitely exciting. There's a lot of competitive ad advantage that Walmart has of establishing a strong local presence and understanding the customers and the neighborhoods. Um, and sort of bringing that into technology, m building our machine learning and data science algorithms so that we don't lose that connect, the human connect that we have with our customers. I think that is what sort of excites me. Great, good yeah. to know. Well, that's it. Thanks, thanks for doing this. Yeah, um, thanks for the coming it's been for the great. Ride. It yeah. was fun. Oh, so, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, thanks.